Save Pig. Written by Roger Carr. Pickles Pig was mad. The farmer said he was going to sell him to be made into crisp fried bacon. He said he would sell him to pay for all the food he had eaten. Pickles Pig did not want to be crisp fried bacon. Pickles Pig was so mad he rolled in mud. Someone has to pay for all the food you eat, the farmer said. Pickles Pig got out of the mud and sat down and got sad. <coughs> Don't get sad, get angry, Old Hoss said. Old Hoss pulled things like ploughs and carts around the farm to pay for his food. <coughs> Don't get angry, get even, Prize Ram said. Prize Ram had lots of woolly children. The farmer sold their wool to pay for their food. <coughs> Don't get even, get clever, Tabby Cat said. Tabby Cat kept the house and barn mice-free areas. Did not need the farmer to pay her. She ate on the job. Pickles Pig closed his eyes to help himself think. I have a brain, he thought. I have ideas, he said under his breath. I know stuff, he grunted out loud. Pickles Pig sat in a puddle to think. He thought, Letter A, the farmer has to feed me. Letter B, food costs money. Letter C, if I pay the farmer for my food, then I do not owe him. Letter D. If I do not owe him, he need not sell me for crisp fried bacon. Letter E. Then do something quick before he does. Just as he finished thinking, Janet came home from school. Pickles Pig, Janet called. She ran across and hugged him. But Janet did not stop to play. She always used to, before she had a computer. Now she spent all her spare time in front of it, reading, listening, and watching cool books for kids. Pickles Pig followed Janet into her bedroom. He found a nice, soft doll to sit on. Janet loved her new computer so much that, at mealtime, Janet's father had to carry her away. When Janet had gone, Pickles Pig got a bigger doll to sit on. He put his front feet up on the desk. He bumped the mouse, and something on the screen moved. User-friendly, Pickles Pig thought. He had heard that said. Pickles Pig had fine, small feet, but nearly always hit only one key at a time. He tapped away on the keyboard. It was interesting to make words and lines and hold pages of things. Pickles Pig wrote a story. It was about a pig who was going to be sold for crisp fried bacon. It got very sad at the end, because the pig did not want to be crisp fried bacon. But it was the only way he could pay the farmer for his food. Pickles Pig liked the story very much. Everybody should read this story. Pickles Pig thought. He clicked the mouse some more and found a list of people who wanted stories about everything. If only I could send these people this story, Pickles Pig thought. Pickles Pig pushed the mouse and clicked it. Then Janet came back to use the computer and the farmer came to get Pickles Pig for his meal. Out in the farmyard they were having a send-off party. Pickles Pig was scrubbed until he was pink and glowing. Even behind his ears was scrubbed. Then he was put into a special cage with fresh straw on the floor. <coughs> Goodbye, Pickles Pig, called Old Hoss. <coughs> Goodbye, Pickles Pig, called Prize Ram. 
I thought you knew stuff, called Tabby Cat. At the gate, the farmer stopped to look in the mailbox. There is a letter for you, the farmer said to Pickle's pig. The farmer read the letter. So you wrote a good story and got paid a lot of money, the farmer said. Pickle's pig pushed the money across to the farmer. Not to pay for your food, is it? The farmer asked. He put the money into his pocket and turned the truck around. You should be crisp fried bacon by now, old Hoss said. Did you get angry, he asked. <laughs> or did you get even, Prize Ram asked. Or did you get clever, Tabby Cat asked. I got clever, Pickles Pig said. Then he ate the letter and went back inside to use Janet's computer.